Hey, welcome to Zach's Tag Turf. Are you building a new gaming PC? If you are, chances are you're debating about buying 8 gigabytes of RAM or 16 gigabytes. So today, I'm gonna figure out the best answer for you. The results may surprise you. So let's get into it. Before jumping straight into the benchmarks, I wanna explain a few things real quickly. First, having 16 gigabytes of RAM versus 8 gigabytes for things other than gaming can have a huge advantage. Things like video and photography work, programming, and even web browsing can really utilize an extra 8 gigabytes of RAM, but that's not why we're here today. The purpose of this video is purely to see if it's worth adding an extra 8 gigabytes of RAM for gaming. I'm also not going to be picking games that are based purely on how good the graphics are. I'm going to try and pick games that are most popular because that's probably what you guys actually want to see. Next up, for today's test I'm going to be using a little bit of a higher end build. I'm using my personal rig which is rocking an i7 4790K, not overclocked, 8 and 16 gigabytes of DDR3, 1866 megahertz RAM, a GTX 980, and they are all on an MSI Gaming 5 motherboard. Keep in mind that the result of this test may be a bit different on a lower end computer. All right, with that out of the way, let's play some games. The first game I picked up was none other than For Honor because it's definitely the new IT game of February and I'm personally having a lot of fun playing it. On the Steam store page, they listed four gigabytes of RAM as minimum and eight gigabytes for recommended. Here you can see that with both 8 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes, I had the exact same FPS average of 71. The minus one for the min and maximum isn't even a difference in my book, it's pretty much the exact same. Next up, I decided to test GTA 5 because that can really push the computer. Just like For Honor, they list the minimum amount of RAM at 4 gigabytes and recommend it at 8 gigabytes. Here they got the exact same average again, but the minimum and maximum FPS were a bit lower. Now I personally can't see a difference in 74 to 69 FPS, but there's still a very small downgrade here. Our third test will be on Overwatch. Blizzard actually lists the minimum of RAM at 4 gigabytes, but the recommended of only 6 gigabytes. Like For Honor, the FPS average and min maxes were pretty much spot on. I didn't notice a single difference when gaming here. And finally, I decided to benchmark Shadow of Mordor. This is still a pretty popular game that does include a built-in benchmark, so I thought it was a perfect fit. In this game, the minimum amount of RAM is 3 gigabytes, and the recommended is actually at 8 gigabytes. Either way, the FPS average was the exact same with both 8GB and 16GB, and I think you might be starting to see a trend. So after seeing these results, you may be thinking, I was about to spend 50 to 60 extra dollars for 16GB of RAM, and now that I don't want to do that, what else can I spend my 50 to 60 extra dollars on? I got you hooked up. 50 to 60 bucks can get you an all-in-one CPU water cooling setup for better overclocking, a 128 gigabyte SSD for your operating system and a few games, and it can even let you put more money into a baller looking case to show off your new build. Well that wraps up my 8 gigabytes versus 16 gigabytes of RAM for gaming. For me personally, I would rather spend that 50 or 60 extra bucks on what I just talked about, but make sure you guys let me know what you're rocking. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below to help support my channel and as always thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.